So we'll just have to see how this one is going to end up playing out. Everybody, Gaius and John numbers. Gaius previously taking out uh, Tragedy as well as Park Ninja to be able to make it up until this point. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this one is going to end up playing out. Already dashing, shielding, asserting a lot of pressure. i got to say, Gaius is not playing intimidated at all. Movement looking clean. When you're playing in a bracket like this, you have to play like you're going to win. Doesn't matter who you're fighting. Doesn't matter what you're fighting for. You just got to win. But missing that up tilt. And, yo, i got to say, Gaius is approaching neutral really well, especially with a lot of these, like, fadeback Hadoukens. Well, not Hadouken, excuse me. I don't know my FGC vernacular. But, uh... You know, even if he's at like a percent deficit, he's playing solid. I like the down air too. Just no fear from this man. Constantly staying on top of numbers I actually feels one of the best ways to fight against him. Oh yeah. Coming back in. But now you're gonna be stuck off stage. This is the John game. You have no double jump off stage. You have to side B, focuses, yep. and almost dies. Ooh. All right, that down air could have been curtains. This guy is given a new lease on life. Let's see if he can make good use of it. <gasps> Now he has a tell. He jabbed, numbers rolled back. The question is, will he be able to capitalize or is Wee Fit's roll a little bit too long to actually punish? Oh, I like that. The Tatsu to try to cover the ledge. Ledge yeah. hugging, very interesting uh, reaction. Up to the instead of forward to interesting. John maybe just opting to go through like the juggle and then uh, just not gauging how fast the uh, header was going to be. Yo! <laughs> Was that cheese a little oh. tiny bit? Was that fair? Not fully, but Gaius felt good about that stock. Caught two for flinching on that one. I love it. That was... That got me. I got hit by that. <laughs> what you know about Kara down smash? It's I, more than just Twitter clips, kids. Yeah, that was like the most practical implementation I've actually ever seen of like the down smash cancel, right? But then getting the down tilt as well. Oh, it spaces out that F tilt. He is playing hot. He is playing in front of John's face. Tries to go through the up tilt coverage, but we fit's roll. Of course, the John numbers classic able to get back on every single time. You know, I got a chance to talk to Gaius earlier yesterday while I was here for DTN, and he was not intimidated in the slightest. Oh, when he yeah. looked at his bracket path and he saw that he had to fight numbers. He knew he was fighting a good opponent. And but he going also out there too. And that was too low. He baited out the other dodge. John was essentially all out of options at that position. Gaius has a two to one stock lead. What is happening? He's just playing on fire right now. Playing with no fear, again, is the best way to approach on numbers because you have to occupy that space where he's going to be at the ledge. Look at how much room he had. Proper DI, heavier character, even eating that sun salutation at oh. point blank. Yeah, but, but jumps in a little bit too aggressively, the biggest opening. It's an FGC kill. Dude. You not jump Yo! In. I thought he died for a second. Oh my god, I got so scared. Good rhythm on the up B, though. Brings him back. Oh, tries to maybe cover the neutral air dodge, but John, I feel like always opposite directional air dodge back off stage. And look at this damage output, almost getting that coverage too, but ducking between the hits of that forwarder. Oh, this is an amazing comeback from numbers. If there's anything he can do, it's come back. If there's anything we can do, it is put on damage, but getting those down tilts off yet again. Yo, massive look. parry, but he doesn't fully fall. <gasps> Yo, he almost ate the full focus attack. What is going All on? All right, hold on. You gotta also account for the fact that this is near full rage Ryu. And while numbers can heal a little bit, he's not healing enough. 84%. That puts him in death throws. Oh, that header was so unsafe. Yo, the pop? He got a game against Nubbies. I'd be popping off, too. It wasn't just a game. He didn't just weasel it through. That was a very confident game one from Gaius. That was so back and forth. But I've got to say, I don't love that decision to header heal from Nubbies. I don't actually know what he was covering. But Gaius played that situation beautifully. I want to see that uh, Kyle cancel down smash one more time. Because that was oh, yes. insane. The first stock. That was first stock favorite Gaius. We saw Kara cancel. Just watch this fake out. Psych! Insanity! Insanity! That was so cool! Heavy Tatsu just devoured numbers there. That was so good. And we're running it right on back to Small Battlefield. I think a very bold call from numbers, given how well Gaius was able to play on the stage. And look at this preemptive knock. Oh no, numbies! What is going on? If I'm Gaius, I'm feeling pretty good. Open it up for yeah, the no, we, death. It's an, in the words of our forefathers, we take those! We take those, baby! Let's see what happens now. <laughs> It's I'm all producing. coming up, Gaius! I was producing just manga S in real time. <laughs> we just saw Gavin and Flip over here. What is happening? Yo, if ever it's time to manga S, you know it's right in front of us. Um, Seeds be damned. Gaius is just making this his game. He's eating a bit of damage right now, but 
Given the stock lead and again playing as Ryu, you get kind oh of a. Oh my god! Playing a little bit of a geometry there. All of those angles just coming into play. Guy is going to be losing his play stock, uh, but. Dude, That's still a tight lead. stock situation. It's a fantastic place to be in. And Numbuz is now the circle camping a little bit. He's dancing around those platforms. He's getting those follow-ups. But focus is so clutch. It really is. Taking full advantage of it, I think, is what's really made the offensive play from Gaius so strong. Because he's refusing to give Numbers that room to breathe. Yeah. He's staying at worst at a mid-range. And... I feel like we fit when she gets her resources going, when she gets the zone set up. How often do you see Numbies get this pressure at ledge? Gaius is in his head. He's popping out all these late neutralers. He's popping out all these projectiles and getting that down smash under it as well. Numbies has to find a way to be able to make it back on and head is that opening. Can oh, he make this back? The FADC movement too. Just fantastic. Active play from Gaius. Is that trip? Yeah, that was a little bit of a... Really trip there, not able to Yo, he went on a collarbone breaker too. He's out for this man's soul. Yeah, but good stuff. Not every going stock away. has to be a clip. But he's going for it. He's trying. Yo, I respect the hustle. It's like I said earlier. If you're on stage, you gotta do it like that. And that's that coverage. But John <laughs> able to put Stool out of disadvantage, catching that landing with that dash attack. He still has a double jump. The and patience, the tech. Guy is able to get that down smash. Now, up two stocks to one. That is a Ryu at 130. That is a Ryu with rage. He is looking for this next jump, and he's looking for this next opening. And John popping out those gimmicks, baby. The crouching undo projectiles. You gotta love it, but also you have to be careful. Shakunatsu is a little bit on the thicker end. It may potentially clip while you're crouching down or coming back up. So unless Numbers holds that crouch, oh, yeah. not especially safe. And then even then, down tilt is the real danger here. The way that Gaius has been fishing with down tilt for his hit confirms is just masterful control. Trap down, double jump up. Here is the move of choice. But again, focus coming in so clutch for Gaius. He is asserting his dominance at the ledge. Tries to go through the same side B ledge trumps. It's not working out. The Tatsu ledge trumps have never resulted in anything. But he keeps going through those. He keeps making John feel unsafe at the ledge. Exactly. I'm so glad you highlighted that. Because consider the fact that Gaius has not been punished for it yet, in spite of him constantly throwing himself at the ledge with the Tatsu. Neutral is yet again, that time actually going to be trading, and then that directional air dodge, John had a double jump, he was a little bit plus in that situation, and he gets that punish. 54%, one refit combo can even this up. Very true, especially while we've got the deep breathing active, sun salutation charged, very good situation all things considered for numbers. Caius isn't letting up, he's not rushing into any of these punishes, what is happening? He's waiting for his opportunity to strike. He's waiting for those numbers to clock up. He wants to see that percentage climb so that he knows <gasps> when he hits yo, that down tilt, yo. it's time to go. And he crossed the, up too. The whiff grabbed from it. Landing with that focus yet again. He just needs an up tilt into the Shuriuken. But John, non. Oh my god. John is just getting this damage in. Getting again, the in. collarbone breaker coming out, threatening the shield pressure. Numbers is not safe at the ledge. He's not safe in shield. Numbers, unsafe in playing defensive, is a numbers <gasps> unlike we, we have ever seen. But he baited the double jump with the sun salutation. And now he's going to be stuck off stage. He has no double jump. Oh. Gaius had no double jump off stage. He was so scared of John. He had to. He had no other options. And SD returned. A hell oh, of a man. way to bring us into a game three. Tension on from that all ends. That was insane. That was nuts. I want to see that one more time. Yeah, no. Ball bounce around, down air stuff. There, I think he got hit with the up B was what really sent him around. That like. is one of the worst angles to be sent at in the whole game. But I want to quickly take a look at that last stock while we do have a chance before this next game starts. This double jump was everything. John was able to bait it out thanks at Sun Salutation, and then he just chased Gaius all the way back down. Yep. He chased, he positioned, and he was able to force him to drift out. And now we see the return of the Ken. Gaius will he be able to make something happen? I think he's in a very good position to do so. Cannon in Smashville offers a lot of opportunity to continue to pressure refit, whether it's at the ledge and especially while it's for that base plat. Sharking around with up air is going to be huge. Oh yeah, but that tech roll is so, so huge. Getting those double up airs, double jumps back on and then John commits to the ledge. Gaius has the ledge. We're we'll back at it, baby. Back at the ledge trap. What's going to be the play? Those parries are insane. As part of the game plan, being able to respond in turn off of parry is so big for Ken. <gasps> Yo, he's so out here! And he also just went through that stage fight just <laughs> in case John was sleeping. <laughs> you have a cross-up on the shield pressure? 
guys backing off a little bit, dashing back in, just waiting for the pulley landing from John. But he's playing safe, he's playing non-committal. They keep trading. This is so even. Dara, I want you to take note of the difference in the ledge pressure we've seen from Gaia since he switched to Ken. Take note of how much more he's dashing back. It's giving a little bit more of that respect to Numbers, and I think Numbers has picked up on that very quickly. But now I gotta say, Numbers is just adapting a little bit too fast here. Just going for the head of cover just in case he teched in place. That could have been huge damage output. That's gonna be the short Liu, especially with that platform extension. Gaius isn't giving up. He is not giving in. He is keeping his head in the game. Absolutely. This is still an opportunity for him to win. He took the game one. What's stopping him from taking this game three? Who's that one? Dashing back in, dashing back in, gets the falling forward as well, but then doesn't get the grab follow up. Ah, uh, unfortunate. It's all right, he still has that ledge pressure. He's still racking up the damage slowly but surely. Although, consider the fact that Number is putting on that damage very easily now. Oh, yeah. And now that he's got his planking rhythm back, he's going to be slowly healing, whether it's from the deep breathing or the sun salutation. He has a tell. Gaius keeps landing with those falling aerials. Now he's getting up attacking and then does a sweet spot to the ledge. Ends up getting punished by the dash attack. Gaius taking a second, taking a breath, keeping his composure solid. The littlest of hits from the Tatsu. Falling forward, backing off, dashing off a little bit. Doesn't get that coverage in time with the dash attack. I gotta say, Gaius is slowing down a little bit. I think it's also the fact that Numbers is sufficiently heated up at this point. Oh, if he connected that falling up here. How about the down air? How about that down air? He got it, he got that spike. Gotta keep Numbers guessing. That we have not seen him chase the deep breathing off stage since the first game. You have to be scared because you already know the power of Numbers off stage. He can reverse you with any of his million spike hits. Okay, makes it back on. Right now, just gonna be looking right. for another down tilt at the ledge. Just backing off a little bit. Gaius, right here, just intent on holding on this ledge trap. Far from over just yet. Just needs to keep his feet planted, but it's the other way that are gonna end it out. Gaius, so close to clutching, but it's numbers who wins. What a heartbreaker, truly. Honestly, though, very well fought. That was such a good way to play this matchup. Not just the Wii Fit matchup, but specifically the John Numbies matchup. Exactly. That was honestly excellent, excellent play from guys. He held it down at the ledge. He was going through a lot of really late like neutral legs as well. And you have to be careful rolling onto stage against uh, Ryu, against Ken, anybody with auto tilting on, especially them with their down tilts. They can make something happen off of a single bad ledge roll. John felt pressured. He couldn't get away with it as much, but he got that spike with the down air. Honestly, if you're a local player, or even if you just know the infamy that is John Numbers and you are intimidated by his style of play, this is one of the best VODs you'll ever be able to watch yeah. because you see how a player is able to attune themselves to play specifically against John's style of play. Yeah. Games one and two, he was looking so uncomfortable. It took so much effort from John just to reassert how he wants to play the game. Mm -hmm. Not even just his game plan with Wii Fit, just how he feels comfortable. The let's play, the offstage planking, the juggling, it took a lot of effort for him to get there. Yeah, if this is how well Guy is played now, to be able to almost take it over John, I think he can make some stuff happen. That loser's run's gonna be fire. Dog, consider this 39th against 7th seed. 39th against 7th. That would have been huge, huge. So, that's Either the way, grind set you gotta John, come into bracket for. It doesn't matter what the seating is, you could do it. You just gotta execute accordingly. His head in the game. He kept his head mm -hmm. in the game. John just played steady. He played solid. He did what he does best. There was a couple of not so good. A couple of these, he just really took advantage of Ken off stage, which was like that back heel. The spikes before right, the dash right. attack coverage. That's where Ken, of course, is the weakest off stage. Either way, I hope we see more of Gaius later yeah. on. I'm Cheers, sure we will. That was a, that was a yes. fantastic set. Cheers. We have Graps courtesy of uh, DTN here. Yes, oh. staff treated well. And of course, we're gonna be moving things right on along. It looks like the next set of players are already up at bat. House's own Dill, she's holding it down, fighting off against Delta Force for the next match. Oh, yeah. So this is gonna be a banger set. So specifically because, why? The seeds are a little bit closer, 19th up against 14th. We have arguably one of the best links in Tri-State, if not the best link I think in Tri-State. the best. Yeah, going up against Dill who is, of course, Rob Extraordinary. She's been killing it for so, so long. I have no idea how this match is gonna go. Rob against Link, how do you feel about this matchup? This can be a very screwy matchup because it's not just like the shenanigans afoot from both of these characters' items. Gyro and Bomb offer a ton of combo ability on both ends. 
but the fact that they can both threaten a lot of space with their boxing tools and then threaten an equal amount of space with their zoning tools. They're very strong hybrid characters. I feel very yeah. much two sides of the same coin. And 